it's very easy to get around Croatia without speaking the language. I find that anybody that I encounter speaks somewhat uh, English. Uh, we've never had a problem, and if we do have a problem, uh, like in a grocery store, or a department store, we're looking for something. If they don't speak English, they're very polite and they tell us they don't speak English and they will go get another worker to help us. But so far on the streets, restaurants, you name it, I'm shocked at how well everybody speaks English here. Yes, I think if you even don't speak the language you're able, because most of the people speak other language and English, is, it's of course. Okay, regarding the language, um, Obviously, Croatian language, it is not, I, I would not put it as a simple language. You can go around the city and, and you can, you can uh, live an almost normal life without speaking the language. And be, be, because most of the people speak English uh, and, and, and many of them good English. But you can make yourself understand and then you can, you can understand people. I would say if you speak uh, a part English, German also, because because many other people that speak German, it, it is it is you you won't need absolutely to know the language to to live. I believe, I genuinely believe, uh, on being able to live the life here without speaking Croatian. As long as you speak English, it's completely not relevant. I have not learned Croatian. Largely because my, I'm immersed in English for 12 hours a day at work. I did try taking Croatian lessons, but basically I also found that so many people speak English here that I haven't been in a situation where I've really needed it. Well, I've been learning Croatian and um, over three years it's become fairly workable. Uh, of course, my Croatian is limited to market Croatian and Vrtic Croatian, <laughs> kindergarten Croatian, um, but uh, most people you find speak English, um, even if they speak a little bit of English or they always say, uh, oh, not really, I don't speak English, and then they speak just fine. So that's been pretty easy. I have not taken any uh, language classes, but for sure I will. Um, no, we have not learned the language yet. My husband maybe knows a hundred words. My kids are better than us because when they went to school last year, they went to school with a lot of Croatian kids. So they can sing happy birthday and ring around the rosy and they know they're one to ten, if not more. They actually come home with a lot of words and then we learn off them. Um, yes, absolutely. I learned how to talk really well with my hands and I've picked up on some Croatian language. Uh, we were offered courses here at the school when we first started, so I've got a little bit of Croatian language. I think it's a healthy thing to try to learn the local language, and I have tried it. I think it shows a measure of respect to people. That, that, that I, And I think most Croatians have an understanding because they speak other languages that, you know, these 89 cases you got and all these other sort of aspects of your language are a challenge to foreigners. So you don't really have to do much, I think, to be appreciated. I do actually speak Croatian now, with a great struggle. Um, I think when I first came here, the foreign language that was most widely used was still German because of the ancient associations with Austria. But this is one of the big changes in the last few years that English has very much become um, the language that people use in business and commercially a lot of people locally and the young anybody under the age of 40 certainly wants to practice their English too so even when I try to speak Croatian I find it quite difficult to practice because they're always wanting to speak English. Mm -hmm.